Once you have imported your data into Tableau, you can use Tableau to create a number of visualizations with your data. To start the process, you will go to Sheet 1 and you will see a number of different things. The first thing that you will notice is that you will see the sheet where you are going to actually get a preview of what your visualization will look like. You also see that your data has been read in as both dimensions and measures. Dimensions are typically categorical variables or names that help us classify our information. And measures are typically the numbers that we're going to use for quantifying the information that we have loaded in. To begin a plot visualization, we will hover over the tax year variable and we will see that it is highlighted with a color. Tableau calls this a pill. You will click once and drag that over to columns. And we will see that our columns automatically display the tax year. We would now like to look at the plot of the average ETR over each of the tax years. So we will hover over the average of ETR and we will drag that to rows. And now we have a plot visualization of our ETR by tax year. Assume now that we would also like to see our capped effective tax rate by year. To do so, we will repeat the process that we just did with the average ETR, where we hover over it, we click once, and we drag it to rows. And this is good, so now we see both visualizations. But if we would like to see both visualizations on the same plot, what we can do is we can hover over the y-axis of average CETR. We can right-click on that to open up a menu, and we can make the selection for a dual axis. This will put both the CETR and the average ETR on the same graph. If we would then like to see what would happen during a presentation, perhaps somebody asks us a question about, well, what would this look like if we got rid of the lowest observation in the graph? We can go ahead and hover over the lowest observation, which happens to be the year 2002 for the average ETR. We can right click, and then we have an option to keep only that, to exclude it, and to group it or create a set. We're gonna go ahead and exclude that, and we see that our graph changes dramatically. This is why some people prefer to use Tableau over more static presentation models such as PowerPoint. Because now when a customer or a client asks a question, we can edit the visualization on the fly to help respond to their questions. You can always undo any action that you've done in Tableau by hitting the Control Z function, or if you're a Mac user, the Command Z function, Z as in zebra. If you would like to add a trend line to this visualization, you can do so by clicking on the Analytics menu option. You will see under the Model menu the trend line option. If you click on that and drag it over to your chart, you have the option of putting it with the average ETR or the average of the CETR. And you can do a trend line using a linear, logarithmic, or exponential, polynomial, or power. We'll just stick with the linear for right now. Drag that pill over and we will see that the trend line appears on that. If we would also like one for the CETR, we can repeat that process by dragging the trend line over and now selecting it for the CETR. We also have options, going back to data, to add labels. Let's suggest that we would like to have a label. To do so, what we can do is we, again, hover over until we receive the pill. We click on it once, and now we drag it to the label option. And now we can see the labels for every single year. We also have the option of changing the colors. If we don't like the preset colors that Tableau has selected for our visualization, you can hover over the legend, right click, and the first option is to edit the colors. There are a number of different palettes in Tableau. If you click on the down arrow, you will see all of the palettes that are available, including a colorblind palette. For this visualization, we will use the 
Jewel Bright palette, and now I would like to select specific colors out of the Jewel Bright palette. We'll select this color for the average CETR, and then I will select the green for the average ETR. I will go ahead and hit Apply, and then I can hit OK, and I will see that the colors on my visualization as well as my legend have changed.